Test, test, test. Welcome to Swingin' at KRS with Mattress. Looking for my people. Your new album came out nearly two months ago. Have you found any people? I think I have, but if they're like me, they just don't uh, leave the house very often. You know what happened to me? This guy, I had a show in Sacramento. Uh -huh. That's a good moment. But this guy came out, this older dude too, and he's like, hey, what is that? Uh, what is looking for my people? I was like, well, uh, I kind of felt alone a lot of my life, wondering if there's like-minded people around, and there might be one out of a thousand that would kind of hit it off, but other than that, it's like, it'd be a kind of trial and a long road of, uh, <laughs> hi, is anybody out here? Mm -hmm. He was like, man, that's my, that's how, like, I live it. That, like, Keep me going. Mm -hmm. He's like, it's so vulnerable, man. It's like, oof, you're right, <laughs> you're right. So when did you start making music, and when did you start singing? I didn't play a show until I was like 30-something. Um, so you never did like choir as a kid? No, I never had any training or music school or anything. Uh, I sang in my car a lot, mm -hmm. and the bathtub as well. And then, uh, one day I decided to just go out and do things. And here we are. I'm now on a swing. That's great. So have you always been a solo musician? For the most part, yeah, I have. I don't know, I started making music in my kitchen with a four track. And uh, it's just uh, kind of more natural for me to write songs. I had a couple drummers. At one time it was a three piece. And I loved it. Uh, but then it fell apart. And I just went back to being solo. And I heard a lot of people come out and say, hey, you're kind of good solo. Were you born in Vegas? Yep. It seems like you could have a show there someday, in my opinion. A big show, a casino run. Yeah. That would be nice, yeah. With some tigers behind me. Mm -hmm. The Goldman Group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you see a lot of shows when you were a kid in Vegas? I did. And uh, it took me a while, even when I was doing the mattress, I didn't understand how that permeated my life. Growing up there is hell. It's a very, it's a, it's a really warped, shallow place. I saw strange music all the time, but it's things you don't think of strange. Like if you see a Tom Jones impersonator at a, a cheap casino while you're eating a buffet. I've seen so many Elvis impersonators on the street uh, who look like they just got beat up and been singing you know, amazing Elvis. So it's, a, it's really a. I think that made me think a lot about showmanship, I guess. Mm -hmm. When you were a kid, did you ever, uh, before you started playing music, find yourself wanting to put yourself out there in a way that you do now? Or no. did that start in your 30s? <laughs> I'm not sure I want that now. I was always introverted but I had some extroverted tendencies. And then one day I decided to just let it all out mm -hmm. and sing in front of people. And then after that, I decided to sing and dance in front of people. And then once you do it, you're, you're there, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you also have a radio show on X-Ray FM here yeah. in Portland. That's right. Do you enjoy seeking out new contemporary music for that, or do you find yourself like delving into past stuff? I delve more in 
uh, current stuff this year that I feel like I have in a long time. But mostly, uh, I'm still stuck in the past. I'm still working on the 60s and 70s, mm -hmm. it feels like. No, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a Klaus Nomi fan? Yeah, Klaus Nomi is insane. I look at that guy and I feel like there's hope. Uh-huh. Well, he died, but... Yeah. There was hope. And there was I, hope. I mean, you sort of remind me of him oh, yeah. in like a similar sort of... He might be from another planet. Oh, yeah. There's like yeah. shiny stuff going on. Right, right. How many gold suits do you have? I only have one. You wear this every day? This has been Swinging at KRS with Rex from Mattress. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Bye. How you take it?